Hello, welcome back to Zelda The Minish Cap. In our last video, we climbed Mount Cronel. We made it to the mines and started them off. And we gave our sword uh, to the Minish to fix. So today we're going to be pushing through Mount Cronel Mines, hoping to get the dungeon item and make it at least most of the way through this dungeon. The first thing we have to do is try and get bigger now that we've made it over here. Alright, so with the sword we can put out fires, so as long as they don't relight, they shouldn't be too tough. They're only really an obstacle when you're like, mini-sized. Thanks, we had no idea that falling in the lava might hurt. So we can chop these guys right into the hole to make a platform. <clears throat> now we gotta fly back around there because the other two directions we could fly to we've already been so this is the only real way we can go. Alright, so that's the next key. So we're making some progress here. Use the action button. Oh, I guess we have to hit it with the sword to change the way the tracks point. That cart's flipped upside down. Nice, that's the hard container we couldn't get to. We've passed it twice now. But that's actually gonna complete a full another heart, so we're at six now. If we defeat the boss of this dungeon, we'll actually have seven hearts already.
Uh, is this the mini boss? That's uh, just a bunch of choo choos. That really wasn't too hard. It's like the second boss fight that's just been choo choos. So we have the cane. It's not the cane of Adora, like Link to the Past. I don't actually know how you're supposed to pronounce this one. I'm just gonna call it the cane, I guess. Having a lot of fun playing this game. I can't believe I missed this game all those years ago. I feel like at the time I was just playing GameCube and Xbox and just really wasn't into the whole handheld thing. Never really had places where I was out and about to play handheld games, so just never got into it. I feel like at the time everyone was just focused on like hyper realistic graphics and this game just kind of looked dated, but you know, you grow up and realize that gameplay is more important than you come back and revisit this game and have a lot of fun with it. I guess it's just a good lesson not to look past the game just because of the graphics in it. I think a lot of people have learned that with the Switch now. Everyone's buying that instead of like the newest Xbox or PS5 because it just has more games at the moment. I'm sure once those systems have more games they'll sell better but they've been hard to come by. There really hasn't been that much new on them yet. I feel like we missed something. Like we have the key, we just don't know where the locked door is. No, we definitely don't want to go back down the stairs. I hope I haven't been walking past the locked door. That would be kind of embarrassing. I think we just got all turned around in here somehow. Okay, we haven't been up here, so this must be the way we're trying to go. Yeah, we're back on track now. Yeah, I think I want to find the minecart before we think about switching the tracks. Huh. You can't walk across the tracks when you're minish. It's like they're too big. So here's the cart. We just gotta get bigger now. That's what those are. So 
wondering what those things were, but I guess they just don't see us when we're smaller. They wait till we're like full-sized Link and then chase after us. Jump back in that. It seems like we gotta use these guys to make a path over to that switch. He went too far. from all the way back too far. It's like we just gotta chop him into the hole with the sword. Another puzzle solved. Oh, we gotta be getting closer to the end of this. Unless this dungeon is just massive. Other tin stone pieces. We have so many of them. We're just not finding anyone to fuse them with. It's like later in the game, are we just going to be finding people to fuse tin stones with a little bit everywhere because we have so many? How do we get over to that? Ooh, we can't jump. That doesn't help. Up top is just the boss door, but we gotta get to the boss and see first. And do we have to go like down and around? I don't even think this platform will take us all the way down from up here. We might have to stop in the middle, then get back on to ride it uh, to the bottom and go around. fall off of them so easy. Yeah. 
But right, at this point, we're just starting to like get frustrated and try and get through it fast and make mistakes. Just causing us to panic and make more mistakes. Yeah, you ever have a game where you start trying to get through it because you're frustrated and then you just make more mistakes? That just makes you more frustrated. You have to actually just like calm down and focus. It's kind of what's happening here. Also happens when you're trying to talk and gameplay and everything all at once too. Alright, I think we made it though. here to get to a chest. Just can't get the timing right on that. But anyway, I think we're out of time here, so... We're going to cut the video here, as always, thanks for watching, and come see us in the next video of Majora's, or sorry, uh, Diminished Cap. Forgot what video I was making there for a second.